And there is Zena Hecker, 14 years old. And she'll skate to perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Amazing range of flexibility and movement as Lena Ecker from Hungary dispels any potential nerves of competing at her first Junior Grand Prix, looking utterly at home and comfortable in front of the audience. Well, you can see the jumps worked for her tonight, no question. They might be a little susceptible, but she pulled them off and gave her great energy and performance, and that was just the dream debut, if you want, if you will, mm. for this young skater as we take a look at some of the elements. Here's the triple sawcow, great distance and height up into the triple toe loop. That is under rotated, downgraded, in fact, in the judging system. And this Lutz, let's take a look. Good outside edge on a lean, but gets the free leg out just in time to hang on. Mm -hmm. That is in with an under rotation. The double axle watcher leap off the end across the ice on the double axle. I just noticed that the axle, big elevation, but on the exact same place in the ice as the Salco. So potentially judges will think about that when they come to give the composition score. They would prefer more ice coverage and, and transition. I think she would, be, Lena would be pretty happy with that performance here. Whatever the score is. Aww. And that, that's the ideal. That is the absolute ideal that now, I, well, ideal situation, of course, is everybody gets the personal best and they're delighted with it. But the skater isn't fixated now on score because they're so self-satisfied. And the scores are just then a reference point 
and like getting a lesson from the panel well, rather than when you skate really well you you're thinking okay this score is going to be really good you don't know i mean can you feel there was an under rotation or the downgrade probably the downgrade you're going to feel that but some of the little things that you may not know are being reduced because of the misposition or whatever but the program felt good and so we'll see mm. what her reaction is here that was a strong program for her she came off the ice with a big smile and lots of energy in the kiss and cry Let's see the reaction to the scores she doesn't have a personal best in the junior grand prix so this score will be her benchmark if you will and then she gets the chance to compete again lena is listed for the final junior grand prix in yarvan in armenia so she's going to get the feedback now and then a great amount of time between her events to be able to go back train and hopefully make some improvements again and we will both be there in yarvan i've been there before it's such a fascinating city and that part of the world as well and it's a great place to finish out the Junior Grand Prix season as they enter into the Senior Grand Prix after that. And they're just waiting anxiously now for those scores. <laughs> you, you can always tell that the scores matter. The longer away from the skate, the, where the scores become a factor in the skater's brain space. <laughs> exactly. The, you can see the smile is getting you know, a little <laughs> smaller here. <laughs> Thinking about, okay, why are they taking so long? Clasping the fingers, yeah. writhing the hands yeah. in hope. <laughs> now it's moved from joy to, mm, what's up? Mm, what have I done? The five <laughs> reviews have been made, and there is a downgraded triple toe loop on the combination, under rotation on the triple lots of those. Those flaws will cost a little bit. But this is, a, you know, quite long compared to the timing of the other skaters. So there might be something that, not in a scoring perspective, but there might be a bit of a glitch, technically. Interesting stat, Ted. Lena met the Hungarian president, Kathleen Novak, on the 20th of August. So oh, she's wow. obviously Very nice. being recognized by all the deities as a star of the future for Hungary. <laughs> Excellent. And you have a new king there. Are you going to get introduced to the king? Um, I, I'm not sure. I'm suitably important. That would be nice. I wouldn't say no to that. I wonder what I can do to that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think the royalty will be members of the Dancing and Ice li celebrity lineup for next season. Well, who knows? You know? yeah, who knows? Hey, royal family member in the show. Boy, that show would have big ratings. <laughs> <laughs> or probably already does, but I mean, you know, king raising. The insurance. Ratings. The insurance, the yeah, insurance the insur to insure a royal member. The, That's true. The, the insurance would be huge. <laughs> yeah. How many weeks is that show for you? So we do. Uh, it'll be nine weeks of, of show. So, but it's uh, the, that's the live show. So prior to that, the celebrities have two to three months of, of training time before. So it just it, it's really amazing to see what people can achieve under duress and stress. And that's a bit like what we've talked about with these skaters now. The experience of competing on this stage pushes them to achieve much more than they might if they didn't. Here's the score, 43.45, which is, okay, well, that's not too bad. I think she was worried that the score would be lower than that. That's 12th place for Lena Ecker of Hungary.